hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the another video in today's video i'm going to talk about that are we going to see ios 18.0.2 or not so there are different set of people right now some people are using ios 17.7 some people are on 18.0.1 and some people are on 18.1 rc update and in every other person one thing is common that everyone is talking about battery life so there are few things that are going with the battery life people are looking to get a better battery life when 18.0.1 was released it was supposed to fix memory allocation that can bring a better battery life and better performance and it did it was quite better than the 18.0 18.0 was really bad so 18.0.1 was much improved but still there are issues going on so we really want to see 18.0.2 but here is the take today is saturday while i'm shooting this video it is 26th of october over here and on 28th of october we are expecting to see ios 18.1 public release so that is going to be a stable update for sure so if we are going to see this over here when we can expect to see 18.0.2 will there be 18.0.2 well being very honest i don't think that there will be 18.0.2 because i don't think apple will bring out two different stable um ios versions in the same week that will not make sense why apple want people to stay on 18.0.2 rather than come on 18.1 definitely they want more people to update on the 18.1 so i don't think that we are going to see 18.0.2 this is my um theory i don't know we might see or not I'm, I'm not sure about that but for me i don't think it is going to come out what are your thoughts let me know in the comment section below also people are on 18.0.1 are facing a lot of battery issues so i want to share a couple of uh, fixes that can help to improve the battery life well uh, what you can do is you can do a couple of changes in your settings to improve the battery life of your device so for that what you need to do is go to settings over here then in your settings go to the privacy and security section over here from here you can go to the tracking over here and you can turn off the tracking off for every other application when the tracking is on it will be running in the background that will consume battery so it will also running when you're not using your phone so there could be a battery draining so it is always better to turn off the tracking off for every other application also if you go back over here and go all the way down here are few things you can do if you don't use apple journal which i do use and if you don't use what you can do is you can turn off the journaling suggestions you can go over here and turn off all from here if you don't turn this off it will be using your activity media context photos significant location state of mind it will try to fetch this information in the background so that will also consume a lot of battery so if you don't use journaling suggestions you can just turn off all from here also go back over here go into the analytics and improvements after going over here you can turn off this basically if it is on what it does it shares your data with iphone the data how you are using your device so they can improve their apple devices well it is not helping you it is helping them but it is also consuming battery in the background so you can also turn this off so these are a couple of things that you can do um i have uploaded tons of full-fledged videos about how you can improve the battery life and what you can do and what you can not do those videos are available on my channel go and check out that video but for now this is all i want to talk about i don't think there will be 18.0.2 and here i also shared some of the battery tips what are your thoughts are we going to see 18.0.2 or not let me know in the comment section below and i will catch you guys in my next video until that take care peace out